All right, no more rambling at the beginning of videos. Let's get right into it. So $20 trillion question. A lot of people are talking about this and a lot of people are thinking that this whole $20 trillion thing, this whole Fed emergency meeting, it all has to do with preparing a bailout for this AMC short squeeze. Now, I know this is going to be polarizing, but I want to look at this a little bit differently. $20 trillion. You have any idea how much money that is? How big? $20 trillion, The magnitude of that fucking number. There's a video on YouTube. Uh, Tony Robbins. I don't know how, to, how you would search it to find it. Tony Robbins. Yeah, do this. Tony Robbins explaining a trillion dollars. If you search that, I'm sure you will find it. This video is very old and the numbers, the numbers that he was talking about in that video were staggering and it's only gotten worse since. I think the deficit at the time in the United States in that video, I think he was talking about $14 trillion and what are we now? Like almost 30 or over, I don't know, I can't remember. And I can't, it's been a while since I checked. There's a website, I think it's the debtclock.org or whatever it is, but Anyways, the fucking U.S. deficit is massive. And the numbers that he talked about, which wasn't even that long ago, I think it was like just over 10 years ago he put up that video, things have gotten even crazier. So, some talk about this. $20 trillion being a possible bailout that they are preparing for this AMC short squeeze. Gosh, man, you guys... Let's put our own, obviously our own selfish needs aside. We all want our tennies. I'm like you. I want to get fucking paid. I put my money into this shit. It's time to fucking pay me, motherfucker. I get it. I get all that. But if they have $20 trillion prepared to bail these fucks out, we have a much bigger problem at hand. For one, why the fuck do we keep bailing these fucks out? The Great Recession, 2008, 2009, I mean, there was a big buildup way before that, but when it finally came to fruition and the shit finally hit the fan was 08, 09, when all the banks, not all the banks, but like when Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns started going tits up, it was during those years. And at the time, what was the bailout package then? I think it was like seven, 800 billion. And nobody really gave a fuck. These guys almost got a trillion dollars. They got a fucking free pass for fucking up this country and almost the entire world. The, in fact, the only reason why the entire world wasn't fucked up and this country wasn't completely fucked up is because the Fed went printing money like crazy. If they had let things happen the way they should have, like the free market should work, shit would have hit the fucking fan. I mean, and it basically did anyways. We saw the highest unemployment in, I think since the Great Depression, correct? I, I don't know, fact check me, I might be wrong on that. But it was uh, people losing their houses, millions, millions of people losing their houses, unemployment rate through the roof. It was it was a scary fucking time. And that was only seven, eight hundred billion dollars. Now we're talking, some people are claiming and thinking that $20 trillion is possibly prepared for this bailout. Like, again, guys, if we allow the government to, again, put your own selfish needs aside for a second, let's think about the greater good of the country of our generations, of our kids, 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 kids. If we let the government government bail these fucks out for $20 trillion, I, I'll, I'll say it on record right now. I have no problem saying it. I don't want my tennies. I don't. I don't fucking want it. I don't think my tennies should come off the back of the American taxpayer and good, hardworking fucking people that aren't even involved in this. Like we have, what, 7 million plus, 7-ish million people around the entire world involved, involved in this. And now all 350 plus a million Americans are going to have to pay for this for fucking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Their kids, our kids, my kids, their kids, 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 kids are going to have to pay for this. I don't think that's right. Am I wrong in saying that? Am I crazy in saying that? How do you guys feel? As always, let's have a dis constructive, not destructive. Let's, let's have a constructive conversation down below. I re read and reply to all comments. Um, but let's think about the other negative effects. Okay, so $20 trillion, poof, printed into air. Just, you know, almost the entire U.S. deficit that's been accumulated for over 150 years. Just poof, 
printed into thin air over one fucking stock play. One fuck up. Little suspect, I think. But let's say they did it. Think about the consequences, the ripple effects in the markets. Like, man, the US bonds, the treasuries, like, what are those things worth anymore? They're fucking worthless. Like, you don't think the world is going to wake up and say, hey, you know, like Germany, China, France, UK, some of these other big economies, you don't think they're going to wake up and say, what the fuck? Did you just see what happened in Merca? <laughs> fucking Merca just printed 20, $20 trillion. Like these bonds, these treasury notes that we're holding, what are they actually worth? Well, you might as well go to the bathroom and wipe your fucking ass with them. They're not worth anything. The US dollar, you might as well wipe your ass with that. You might as well fucking plaster it. Like, um, what was in Germany uh, during was the 1920s or whatever it was? What was that hyperinflation? What the fuck was the name of that currency? I can't remember. But anyways, they they literally they were when when all the shit was getting raided. Like people like the the walls were wallpapered in this shit. People were lighting fires with this paper money because it was fucking worthless. So guys. I know, selfishly, I get it. I want my fucking tennies, but at the cost of a $20 trillion payout, think about the bigger picture here. That is an astronomical number. And quite frankly, whatever, I'll bet my, whatever little reputation I have on this fucking channel, excuse me, on YouTube, I'll bet it in saying this, that I don't want it. I don't want your fucking $20 trillion. Please, for the love of God, U.S. government, Federal Reserve, please do not bail out Wall Street once again to the tune of $20 fucking trillion. That is an insane amount. One that is going to have consequences, like I said, our kids, 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 kids are going to pay for this shit. Someone has to pay this shit back. As always, guys, I know some of this shit's polarizing. Some of you don't want to hear it, but maybe you need to hear it. Maybe these are the discussions we need to have. Let me know down below. See you next time. Peace.